Hi, Room 15. Just wanted to read you one of my favorite, favorite books. I used to read this when I was a kid all the time. I still read it. I read it to Remy all the time. This is a special glow-in-the-dark edition. It's called What Was I Scared Of? And it's my favorite Dr. Seuss book of all time. I'm going to make sure that you can see the pictures because they're so cool. Well, I was walking in the night and I saw nothing scary, for I have never been afraid of anything, not very. When I was deep within the woods, when suddenly I spied them, I saw a pair of pale green pants with nobody inside them. I wasn't scared, but yet I stopped. What else could those pants be there for? What could a pair of pants at night be standing in the air for? But then they moved those empty pants. They kind of started jumping. And then my heart, I must admit, it kind of started thumping. So I got out. I got out fast, as fast as I could go, sir. I wasn't scared, but pants like that, I do not care for. No, sir. After that, a week went by. Then one dark night in Greenwich, I had to do an errand there and fetch some Greenwich spinach. While I had fetched the spinach, I was starting back through town when those pants raced round a corner and they almost knocked me down. I lost my Greenwich spinach, but I didn't even care. I ran for home. Believe me, I had really had a scare. Now, bicycles were never made for pale green pants to ride them, especially spooky pale green pants with nobody inside them. And the next night I was fishing uh, for a doubt trout on Rover River when those pants came rowing but toward me. Well, I sort of started to shiver. And by now I was so frightened that I tell you, I'll tell you, but I hate to. I screamed and rode away and lost my hook and line and bait too. It's cool because when it's glow in the dark, all of these places, all of the light parts are all glow in the dark. It's really fun. I ran and found a brickle bush. I hid myself away. I got brickles in my britches, but I stayed there anyway. I stayed all night. The next night, too, I'd be there still, no doubt. But I had to do an errand, so the next night, I went out. I had to do an errand, had to pick a peck of snide in a dark and gloomy snide field that was almost nine miles wide. I said, I do not fear those pants with nobody inside them. I said and said and said those words. I said them, but I lied them. When I reached inside a snide bush and the next thing that I knew, I felt my hand touch someone. And I bet you'll know who. And there I was caught in the snide and in that dreadful place, those spooky empty pants and I were standing face to face. I yelled for help. I screamed. I shrieked. I howled. I yelled. I cried. Oh, save me from these pale green pants with nobody inside. But then a strange thing happened. Why, those pants began to cry. Those pants began to tremble. They were just as scared as I. I never heard such whimpering, and I began to see that I was just as strange to them as they were strange to me. I put my arm around their waist and sat right down beside them. I calmed them down, poor empty pants with nobody inside them. And now we meet quite often, those empty pants and I, and we never shake or tremble. We both smile and we say, hi. 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 The end. One of my favorite books. Mm -hmm.